This is the Fanfiction Multiverse Podcast for January 2018. I'm your host, Michael Dvorchaney. This show helps me keep in touch with those of you who read all of my stories over on fanfiction.net. We've got a lot of talk about this month, so let's get started. I recently updated Nindo of the Force with its next chapter. I wanted to get it out in December of last year, but I wasn't able to be done in time. So I had to release it on the 1st, but it is finally out, and the reviews are in, and they're actually very promising. But also, I want to talk about the next story that is connected to it. It's a spin-off that is set 1,000 years in the past. These stories will be connected to one another at some point. I will not review exactly how because there will be a lot of spoilers in it. I know that this new story, Outer Rim Redemption, will involve Ron Mahaff. Now, there's enough room in the Star Wars galaxy for Ronma's and Naruto's world and galaxy, the big galaxy. Now, how Ronma gets involved out there in the in in the galaxy, when he gets embroiled in what is going on there, is a big spoiler. So I'm not going to reveal anything there. I only know that it involves the Sith, involves the dark side. Ronma will be a bounty hunter in the Outer Rim, who is trying to seek redemption from his past. An older Ronma, near his 30s, a bit more grizzled. He's a bit more, uh, how I say, not quite dark, more of an anti-hero sort of character. Not so much, you know, what he was like when he was a teenager. He's seen a lot, he's gone through a lot, it's changed him a great deal. So, expect some pretty interesting stuff. This won't be coming until the next update to Nindo the Force, and that will be in two months from now, because next month I'm going to be working on something completely new, a rewrite of an existing story that has been a long time coming, but uh, go check out Nindo the Force, uh, the, the current chapter that's there on fanfiction.net if you haven't read it yet, uh, the, and the reviews have been good, people liked it, it's very action-packed chapter this time. Next chapter is not going to be quite as action-packed as this one was, but it sets the stage for events that happen later in this book. And this, the current book is the second book in the the series. There are seven I have planned. Encompasses the entirety of the Clone Wars. So, look forward to that. Next month, I will be working on these two stories, Something Hentai This Way Comes and WTF. Getting a lot of requests to continue that story. The reason why I didn't is because the original concept of Something Hentai This Way Comes basically unraveled. So, I started working on something completely new that I called succubus diaries now this that story is evolving into this one i like keeping this story's name it's based off of the name of the jason robards film from the 1980s called something wicked this way comes and i like i like the name this take on the name so i'm going to keep it for this well it is set in an alternate universe of Beneath the Crimson Sky. So they share very much the same lore. In this one, Ranma is not a vampire. Ranma is different because of just skill. I won't reveal too much. Um, this one will also skirt the limits of what is allowed on fanfiction.net. It's going to be uh, a raunchy comedy. So expect some funny things. And again, coming next month, I will... In February's edition of the podcast, I will go more in-depth into the story and where I plan to take it. This month, I'm going to be releasing a new chapter for Beneath the Crimson Sky and its spin-off, Promise. 
Neath the Crimson Sky, a refresher to those who are unfamiliar with the story, it is a story about Ranma Seltome, who became a vampire and was brought in to an organization of other vampires who used to use their powers good rather than evil. An organization called the Order of Crimson Circle. Promise is a spin-off that is that before the beginning of that story and tells the tale of tells the background story of Baron and Arya, two new characters that were introduced in the latest chapter of Beneath the Crimson Sky that's out now on fanfiction.net. The next chapter of Beneath the Crimson Sky will introduce Yuga finally to the story. Will be joining the cast. I've already got Ukyo in the cast. Now it's time for Ryuga to finally show up. And if this one's going to be more lighthearted. It's going to be more an action comedy than a little action drama of the last chapter. But after that, things are going to start getting darker. Ron was going to get involved in what's going on with the werewolf character that was introduced and things are going to turn in a dark direction now again this is a this story is a re-book trilogy third book in this series will focus entirely on the story of Ranma and his role in the prophecy of the malevolence and exactly what the malevolence want him for so the third book in the series which will not come until after this book two is done uh, this this book two will have uh, between 10 to 12 chapters before it's finished so it will be a fully concise and fully concise and complete series Every month I will try to get at least two stories done, at least one chapter per story. If I can get more, I will. Uh, my schedule is going to be a bit uh, full because I am ramping up production on Sword Central, getting more content on this channel. I will release a new episode of the Chloe cast today that will outline exactly what new stuff I will be working on here. And I'm also starting a new series on Gamers Bay to complement the one I'm currently doing now, which is the retro gaming series. But for this month, possibly, you probably won't see anything until the end of the month. But I will be getting a new chapter out for these two stories, for The Promise, and beneath the crimson sky and then next month will be the, the continuation of wtf and the the rewrite of something hentai this way comes at every podcast i want to talk about stuff that i'm currently working on for the future this is stuff that i will release when my other stories are done i will not overwhelm myself with work on stories like I did before and also because of what happened to me back in the 2000s a lot of stories that I have in the early 2000s a lot of stories that I have won't be getting updated now if you watched the latest episode of an old otaku you know that I suffered depression in the early 2000s when I was writing fan fiction back then, the tone of the story reflected that. Now, you never get rid of depression entirely. It's still with me to some extent, but not quite as bad. And so those stories, I just can't continue them. When I go back to them, their, their tone is completely different to what, where I am now. And... So unless I completely rewrite them, I won't be able to continue them. So there's a lot of stories that will not get updates for a very long time, for a very long time. So the project that I am working on, 
will involve the Justice League and Ron Mahan, which is one of my favorite anime to create fan fiction for. Now, I've got two ideas, and I may do both, but not at the same time. I may decide to do one and then the other, or whichever one I like better than the other, I will work with that one, and maybe shelve the other for a while. Now, one idea is that Ranma is, Ranma is the son of Bruce Wayne, that in his younger years, while training to become Batman, Bruce Wayne became involved in a relationship with Otica. Her family did not approve of her being involved with a foreigner, so she was married off to Genma, and before they parted ways, Bruce Wayne and Nodoka shared a, um, a final night together, and that's how Ranma was conceived. Years later, Bruce Wayne would come to Japan on business. Nodoka would find out, confront him, and let him know that he has a son. Batman would eventually meet his son and bring him into the business and introduce him to the Justice. The other idea, one that I'm also leaning toward, is one where someone in Ranma's life is hurt very badly get hurt very badly, and he becomes a vigilante, sort of a Batman-esque, um, a sort of Batman-esque, Punisher-esque sort of vigilante. doesn't kill, but he certainly doesn't pull any punches, and he goes after the people that caused his friend hurt. And eventually, he has sort of a alliance with the local police, just like Batman does in Gotham City. And over time, his exploits get the attention of the Justice League. And so, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman go to Japan to try and find him, meet with him, so that they can convince him to join the Justice League. So, that's another idea I've got, where Ron was already an established superhero, he's already got out, he's already allied with the police, he sort of plays the role in Tokyo that Batman does in Gotham. So, that's another uh, direction I'm sort of leaning. But I won't be writing that for a long time because I want to get my existing projects done first. I don't want to overwhelm, overwhelm myself with work because my schedule is already going to be pretty full with a lot of the shows I'm doing for Gamers Bay and this channel. Well, that's it for this episode. If you have any questions or, or comments, you can contact me via my social network contacts that are in the description below. I have where you can find me on Facebook, you can find me on Twitter, or you can find me on Google+. Plus. I will um, answer any questions you might have. Uh, you can also leave uh, a review on fanfiction.net with the stories. If you have an account there, if you don't, if you leave a uh, a message under your account, not under guest, but under account, I can reply to you there. Well, I'm going to be uh, working on my website right that I have for Zort Central. It is a Google Sites website. I'm going to be uh, refurbishing that from what it is now. It can be more centered on the channel than it is more on my fanfiction but I will have page 4 fanfiction side so I'll be working on that uh, starting in February I'll be working on that uh, right now I'm just putting together some ideas for what I want the page to look like and I haven't updated that page in a very long time Google has made a lot of changes to Google Sites 
though it's difficult to build an actual traditional site using their, their service, and I haven't used their tools in a long time, so I don't know if anything has at all yet. Um, now, in the future, I may, may build a dedicated site for, for Central. Uh, that depends on how things go, how the channel goes, whether I can afford to actually run a full website or not. Right now, I'm currently working on fixed income. I'm not making that much from YouTube at the moment. Thank you, Adpocalypse. So, again, that basically is what it is for the moment. So, thank you for watching, thank you for reading my stories, thank you for the positive reviews you've given to the latest chapter of Nindo the Force, I will get your new chapters for Beneath the Crimson Sky and WTF this month, so look forward to those, thanks for watching, have a great new year, and I'll see you next time.